real numbers in the last part of real number series we have seen a question which is of big importance that we have discussed that to prove that root 3 is an irrational number and hence prove that 7 plus 2 root 3 is an irrational number now we discussed that what is the importance of such questions these questions may come for 2 marks 3 marks or 4 marks but there is very much surety that these kind of questions these type of questions will definitely come in the same series today we are going to take the last type of the questions and that is word problems based on hcf and lcm now hcf and lcm we have been using this fact this concept from 7th or 8th standard but remember till 10th it is there okay and how to find hcf and lcm we have made some videos on that that you can go through but some basic thing we will discuss in this part also so for hcf it is hcf of two or more numbers the product of the smallest power of each common prime factor in the involved in the numbers now this is the definition for finding hcf of two or more numbers and this is universal do you know from where i got this definition this is given in your ncert textbook okay so same way we are having the definition how to find the method how to find the lcm of two or more numbers let's check it out yes so the definition for lcm of two or more numbers is product of the greatest power of each prime factor involved in the numbers now you can compare between the method for finding hcf and method for finding lcm in both the cases we have product of the in the case of hcf we are using the smallest power okay and in the case of lcm greatest power in the case of hcf we are considering common prime factor whereas in lcm we are not considering common we are saying each prime factor involved in the numbers so you can have a, a comparison between the two methods and thus we can check that how we can find hcf or lcm of two more numbers two or more numbers now we will see the last type which i told you that is the word problem okay word problem based on the Uh, this hcf and lcm okay where we are going to use apply this method okay so let's have the problem so here is the question the problem says a fruit vendor has 990 apples and 945 oranges okay he packs them into baskets each basket contains only one of the two fruits but in equal numbers find the number of fruits to be put in each basket in order to have minimum number of baskets now first thing what we have to understand is whether to find hcf or to find lcm now because we have to find the number of baskets okay so that and, and uh, we have to find the number of fruits so that the each basket will have each basket will have the same number of fruits okay but either of the two either apples or oranges okay so we will find the hcf okay so let's have the method what we have learnt for finding the hcf we have seen here hcf for two or more numbers is the product of the smallest power of each common prime factor so for that first we need to get the prime factorization of the two numbers 990 and 945 so first we will find the prime factorization for 990 and 945 so that will get the product of the numbers okay 
so 990 as it is even so we'll divide it by 2 on dividing by 2 we will get here 900 half is 450 and 90 is half is 45 that is 495 then 495 it is not an even number so it will not be divisible by 2 so uh, we'll try with 3 what is the test for 3 we will add the numbers 9 plus 4 13 13 plus 5 18 8 plus 1 9 so it is divisible by 3 so we'll divide it by 3 so what we'll get here 165 you can check this now again it is not an even number 6 plus 1 7 7 plus 5 12 2 12 is divisible by 3 so dividing by 3 we get here 55 55 is divisible by 5 if we divide by 5 we'll get here 11 and 11 is again prime number so this is the prime factorization for 990 same way we will try to find for 945 now 945 9 uh, it is not an even number so we will try by 3 for 3 test 9 plus 4 13 13 plus 5 18 3 we can divide it by 3 so we'll get here 315 315 obviously 3 plus 1 4 4 plus 5 9 so it will be divisible by 3 so we'll get here 105 105 we know it is divisible by 3 so we'll get here 30 5 and 35 we know that it is divisible by 5 we'll get here 7 and 7 is the prime number so we'll get here 1 okay so we got the prime factorization now here we can write 990 as 2 into 3 into 3 into 5 into 11 and 945 as 3 into 3 into 3 into 5 into 7 if i write them in powers so i'll get here 2 to the power 1 into 3 to the power 2 into 5 to the power 1 into 11 to the power 1 correct same way for 945 3 to the power 3 into 5 to the power 1 and into 7 to the power 1 now what is the definition saying check for the hcf for HCF it is saying product of the smallest power product of the smallest power of each common prime factor first we have to check what are the common factors the common are 2 is there no 3 is there yes 3 is there 5 is there rest all nothing okay so among the two we will see the smallest power now 3 here in this case 3 is having power 2 and in this case 3 is having power 3 so HCF of 990 and 945 what it will have 3 and 5 surely 3 and 5 will be there but 3 is which power will take the smallest power smallest power is 3 to the power 2 and in the case of 5 it is same so 1 so what we get 3 square is 9 and 5 that is 45 so what we get from this that fruit vendor should put 45 fruits in each basket how many fruits 45 fruits in each basket so what we'll say here the fruit vendor should put 45 fruits in each basket to have minimum number of baskets so what such type of question tells us that what is the application of mathematics in daily life okay so now fruit vendor is using mathematics here so the ones who hate maths i want to clear them that see mathematics is having wide application 
in almost every field whether it is engineering whether it is medical whatever and for that purpose i am here why we are here because see the the love or the fear or the hate for mathematics generate from this level only and if i can remove that fear if i can clear that cloud from your mind okay through the methods okay so definitely i'll be very very thankful okay so uh, hope the things are clear hope the topic is clear and this the series whole series real number series we have taken only those questions which are very important with respect to the board exam so 